Let's start by considering numbers, and in particular natural numbers and integers. Uh, let me remind you that the set of natural numbers is denoted by n and contains the, the counting numbers 1, 2, 3, and so on. Some people consider 0 to be a natural number. Well, not us. What we'll do instead, if we want to have a set uh, with also 0 in it, as well as the natural numbers, uh, we will use the notation n sub 0 uh, for such a set, for this set, which contains 0 as well as all of the natural numbers 1, 2, 3, and so on. Uh, we also have the set of integers, and let me remind you that this set uh, is denoted by z, usually denoted by z, and it contains all natural numbers, zero, and the negatives of natural numbers. So it has the negative integers going all the way to negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Okay? All three sets that you see here are infinite, and since every natural number is an integer, and 0 is also an integer, we have the following inclusions between these sets. So the set of natural numbers sits inside this set n sub 0, it's a subset of n sub 0, which is a subset of uh, the set of integers. And finally, let me just uh, remind you of the fact that Usually when we want to refer to an integer without specifying which one we are talking about, we usually use a letter um, to denote that, to uh, um, a symbol to stand for uh, an unspecified integer. And common choices, at least in this module, uh, for integer variables will be the following. For so common choices for integer variables include include um, the letters k, l, m, little n and capital N. So we will use usually use these letters to refer to uh, an integer um, or a natural number uh, without specifying which one we are talking about. And uh, to end uh, this video, I would like to test your knowledge, uh, so I will give you, what I'll do, I'll give you four sets of numbers. The first set, set A, will contain uh, the integers 1, 7, 2, and 9. The second set, set B, will contain the numbers 1, 2, and 1 third. Uh, set C, will contain the numbers 0, 1, 2, and 3. And finally, set D will have uh, for its elements minus 1, 0, and plus 1. So what I would like you to do is to pause the video, and if it's opened in um, item pool, uh, you will see the same question asked below the video. And I, what I would like you to do is to select the set or sets uh, which contain only natural numbers, only natural numbers. Uh, pause the video, and once you have selected the set, I will give you the answer. Okay, so I hope you have selected the, the set with only natural numbers. Let's go through them. So the first set, set A, has its elements uh, 1, 7, 2, and 9, and they are all natural numbers, so this is definitely a good choice. Um, this is a set with only natural numbers in it. Um, set B uh, has the elements 1 and 2, which are natural numbers, but it also has a fraction in it, one third, which excludes it. So this is not a set with only natural numbers in it. Set C has natural numbers 1, 2, and 3 in it, but it also has 0 as an element, um, for an element, so it means that we did not consider 0 to be a natural number, so that means that C, this one is also a no. And finally, set D has the element 0 
and negative 1 in it, uh, both of which uh, would uh, exclude it um, from the set of correct answers. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.